Hello guys, what is up? We are back with another video. Today I'm co-hosted with my friend Blue Toe. Blue Cat Toe to be exact. I'm Blue Today we got this thing called from this place called Cranberry Co-op. Really good. You can get secondhand items there. And it's called Time of Life. And I'm just gonna step in this chair and my dad's gonna come in. Paul Senior. Okay, good afternoon everybody. Today we have a new video for you and this is really our first video where we're actually going to do something hands-on. And it's been a while since we've been out here. It's been very cold in the garage. We've had some snow, we've had some ice. But we are back today and uh, we are looking at the Time Light, which was built in New Jersey, right in, in Newark, New Jersey. And I've had the chance to try this out. I've plugged it in. It keeps good time. And it has on the side here an outlet so you could turn a piece of equipment on or off. I think this was designed for a camera dark room or something like that. Okay, so now I'm behind the camera. What is up, guys? We are back with another video y'all love so much. Heat oh. and blue! How am I doing about my time? That's going to get old fast. <laughs> yep. So here is the time O light. For some reason. And this particular one does up to 60 minutes. Some of these I have seen do 60 seconds. So this is a one up to one hour timer. So you could set whatever you wanted to in your dark room or some other type of a lab appliance. Pretty simple on and off switch. As we said a moment ago, keeps time and the timer will turn the light on and off. But if you notice the top timer light, Paul, what does it say there? Signaling. Signaling. It's a signaling time of light. And, uh, except this time of light is not signaling. So what we're going to do here is open this up and take a look at what's inside. So it should be fairly simple. There are one, two, three screws on this side. What, what, what kind of screws are those? These are flathead screws. So we're going to look for a sl uh, flathead slotted screwdriver bit. Uh, I'm sure he's going to grab the actual right tool. Very nice. And just... Based on my knowledge of vintage equipment, we're probably going to take these screws out and this is going to slide apart. Uh, that's Sorry. twice he kicked the tripod. All right, working good behind the camera, Paul. Nice, good job, good job. No, I'm kidding. He's, uh, we're not going to bore you with the details of how to take screws out like so many YouTube videos out there would do. So we're going to jump ahead and we'll show you what we have inside the time light and we'll see if we can figure out for, why it's not signaling. For the lefties out there, I didn't know y'all were here, and I didn't know we were back. So, anywho, we unscrewed this and we found this inside. This is the um, the timer thingy. This is the outlet. This is the broken wire. This, I think, is the power thing. You can see right here. This is the um, this is the thingy. I don't know. I don't remember what it was called. And I'll have my dad say what it is because I forgot what it was called. He told me a few seconds ago. So filming kids is just like herding cats. So yeah, Paul did explain we have our clock motor here. Yeah. Which is what operates the 60 minute timer. Yeah. We have this Along with a couple of connections. You should be behind the camera <laughs> checking that it's in frame, cameraman. How are we, cameraman? Give me a thumbs up if it's looking good. Excellent. This is... Filming 101, too. We're teaching a filming class at the same time. Here's our outlet here that we can plug up to 500 <laughs> watts into here. So we could time a, a lamp. We could time anything we want to that's up to 500 watts. So any type of appliances and whatnot. Can, can but the one that? thing we had an issue with was that it was supposed to be a signaling timer. And it did not signal. And I suspect that these two wires that are cut here might be the answer. Might be what connects to this mechanical timer. So we're going to give that a try. We're going to strip these two wires, we're going to solder them back together, and then we're going to test out our time alignment. Okay. And that's where you cut. Oh, sorry. Okay, guys. We're going to use this soldering device to, to solder together said wires. And I'm wearing my bicycle helmet for some reason. 
And okay, I think my dad should come in because I don't want to burn myself. I don't want to burn myself. Okay, so we have stripped the wire connection right here. And this is just an adjustable soldering station by Heiko. Picked up for 15 bucks a couple years ago. And uh, we're going to apply heat to these two wires. This is where he's going to... So he's standing on a swivel stool right now. This is where he's going to spin, fall down, probably break the camera and cause me to burn myself. Right here we go. So we're going to solder, apply some heat to the wires. Interesting. Okay, we have a problem. See, whenever it starts, it goes like that. And see, whenever it's off, it goes like that whenever it ends. So, this will get annoying a lot. Yeah! So, it appears to be working how, Paul? It appears to be working backward. Like how I ride my skateboard. So, we're going to take a look. And for our folks at home, we have um, on top here these connections where that this red arrow triggers a switch and there's two positions there's normally open and normally closed so we need to reverse I think just the two switches and you can see that can be pretty simply accomplished by removing the screws and just swapping those two wires so we're gonna do that when we come back we'll see if we have our signaling time light functioning the way it's supposed to you probably should have put those on at the start of the show hey um, apparently we got it to work or something Let's test. Okay, so what we did was, and I wouldn't touch that, Paul, because this is plugged into live current, so let's not do that. But So you see here we have two connections, one here, one here, uh, and there's one to the side here, which is kind of being covered by the wires. We swapped the normally closed to the normally open side of the switch, yeah. which means that that switch is open now, which doesn't let the connection complete the circuit in order to make the buzzer go off. So now... The time is ticking down on the buzzer. When we get down to zero, now we get the buzzer sound where before we had the buzzer sound all the time except for when we were on zero. So now we have a perfectly functioning timer that signals and it will turn our lights or our appliances on and off. So our guess is someone probably opened that timer, swapped those two connections out so that the person who was using it would got, get annoyed by it. Got pranked. Got pranked and that person opened it up and cut the wire thinking it was a malfunction and then we had a timo light that wasn't signaling. So now we do have a fully functioning timo. signaling timo light doing a few basic troubleshooting steps. Hopefully our next video will be a bit more professional and polished. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah and I think that we'll learn a few more things along the way. We'll be happy to show you guys how to work on things that you find around the house. And actually, we're going to take you outside in a moment and show you what our next project is before we sign off. Also, make sure to like and subscribe if you, if you don't want to miss content like this all the time. And hit that notification bell. And I can't imagine anyone that would want to miss this content. Okay, so our next project is this basketball hoop that we found for free and not too far from here. And we're going to bring it into the garage and we're going to refurbish it. Which means we're going to paint the hoop, get the rust off it, we're going to clean and redo the fiberglass. I'm not sure how we're going to refinish that yet, but uh, hopefully you'll be along for the ride with me and Paul. Yep, and make sure to say to our channel and make sure you don't miss this. It's a really good video from some really good video creators. Well, who's creating it? Us. Oh, you said really good. I thought somebody else was going to do it. Yeah, from us.